I need some advice real quick. <laughs> okay, about like three months ago exactly, I got my helix pierced in the mall. Like, I didn't do it myself. The thing is though, the only reason I went to get it done professionally or just not myself is because it's cartilage. I actually did pierce this, this piercing myself, but it's lobe. But it's the earlobe, it's the fatty tissue, still not cartilage, obviously. I did want to pierce the helix myself, you know, try it out because I had, I do have three cartridges left. You're piercing like do it yourself cartridges. But I was a little sussed out because it is cartilage different than just the fatty lobe. So I went out and got it done professionally at the mall, whatever. It's had no issues. It's healing fine. It's, it's all good there. But she used like pretty much the exact same thing that I bought off Amazon. Like the cartridge, syringe, kind of like a gun, a piercing gun. And I was like, I could have just done this myself for free. Free 99 because there would be a little pain tax. <laughs> Especially when I do it on myself. So you can probably see where this is leading. <laughs> I really wanted the look of, or I like the look of double helix piercings. And I know it's only been three months <laughs> for this one. I do want a second and I kind of want it right now. And I kind of most definitely want to try to do it myself. Not a great idea, probably because it's cartilage, but that's why I came here today for your intellect and your ingenious take and advice. So <laughs> should I give myself a second helix piercing, but do it myself? with my piercing cartridge gun thing. Let me know, <laughs> it's probably a horrible idea. <sighs>